Hello everyone, thanks for checking in tonight's video. I hope everyone's having a great evening. Today's Tuesday, June 25th, 2013. Let's get right into these charts, guys. Okay, uh, last week I, I saw some 158 puts uh, spreads, and those were a little stressful, but you know I knew that the bounce was coming in this market, so uh, I, I pretty much took a break, a flat to slight loss last week. But nonetheless, uh, recovering most of that, uh, or actually, I recovered all of it already and some just off the next two days. So I knew that the bounce was coming. I went ahead and sold some uh, 140, uh, 147, 148 put spread. So that's way below the 200 moving average. That's going to be some really stress-free money, especially after the crazy drop. And I already met this measured move off this one, two, three wave pattern, and it's already into this consolidation. It's going to be, it's like, it's going to be pretty tough to break this consolidation because you already consolidated in this level. Uh, for several uh, several days, so you know it's, you got things gonna hold up here for, for a while, okay guys. So I went ahead and, and to be safe. You know, I, I sold it below the two day moving average, so the, and it's also below this pivot. So uh, I will look to add if we do get this continue, uh, if we do continue with this counter trend bounce. But I, that's what I do anticipate at the moment, okay guys. You see we made this high, we blow off top here. Pretty much the algos, pretty much you know set them straight here. They try to break it out higher, reverse it on pretty decent volume there. And uh, that's that's pretty much the the sign right there, early uh, sign right there that this market wanted to come back. And as well, it was on the upper range of this macro trend line as well, guys. Called this out that this would be a very interesting spot. Okay, guys, let's see. I've been riding this long trend macro trend line since 2009 lows, and we've just been kind of riding up. And when you hit the upper uh, band of that, that's going to be you know strong strong resistance, okay? especially it's kind of like a third hit as well. So that's why I was calling for that too. That maybe this market wants to take a deeper correction into summer into the fall period okay guys because we are in upper look at the bigger time frames we're in this upper range right here but right now we're still holding this uh you know the, the previous breakout area and then you know, i'm not surprised that's where it bounced as well so that's uh you have to take uh take caution right there take uh, uh just keep that in mind okay guys but weekly chart you know you kind of just you know trading you know it's still early in the week so it just hasn't you know formed a candle yet the weekly candle so you can't really trade off the weekly chart but you know right on the 20 week moving average uh let's go back to the daily chart uh, right now like i said i'm anticipating a counter trend bounce uh right now we are into a 3 to retrace off this high to low and so uh that's the daily chart but let me go uh, to intraday scalp that i did uh very quickly before i you know start more of the daily chart now high the low and the close of uh, this all parts of this candle the gap fill candle will be important i was actually looking for uh the the lower portion here the actual of gap fill 157 never got there uh so i didn't want to chase it but you know it did you know just kind of chop sideways and higher the rest of the day i did enter on this breakout. i don't trade breakouts often but i did like the pattern very much it's kind of making this ascending triangle and i do think we kind of made a short-term low so that so i have daily chart uh, confluences and intraday confluences and that's how you like to trade look, look at the hour chart as well our chart is just a beautiful up move sideways consolidation that's what you guys want to see when you know, you're building a base here on the upper range of it now, this could be a probably a 3 to retrace that's been holding since this low uh, to this high and it's holding a very nice small candles you know light consolidation and sure enough uh, I played the breakout nice so this is a fake print right here uh, but I did take the money uh, pretty much uh, Right below this gap fill candle right here, okay, guys. Uh, which is minor now because you, you consolidate below it, and, you know, so it's building strength to, to, to build high, uh, go higher. And this fake print, let's see, it comes to fruition. You know, it's, it says the 160 is, is you know, possibly these, these fake prints do come to fruition very often. So let's see if this kind of trend uh, balance can, uh, you know, c come out, come to play, and see if it, I think it's kind of kind of chop around, just float higher into the July, July 4th weekend that's coming up. Okay, that's a very usually a traditionally a bullish period where the volume is very light and the market usually just kind of floats up. And this we are due for a counter trend bounce uh, in my opinion because we actually did kind of went lower than this measured move off the. Uh, but I didn't. I, I don't never like to chase. So that was just a short term run up uh, uh, breakout. It, it was a nice volume. I played it right here. Pretty much took it right here. And sure enough, I, I was to. Uh, I like to take the money quickly because I know I can always get a better entry. So uh, I went ahead and um, did take it. Uh, uh, this is where we close. Okay, I've played this. Uh, the breakout here, the SPY, and sure enough, it did pull back uh, uh, after our session. And where was the next area to play it? The 200 moving average. Okay, I played it on the 200. It's rising. First hit, I took it. I took it actually again. The retest took it again. And the third hit, I like to stay away, but I I should have held it for a longer move, and it does look like it's uptrending. So that would have been a nice spot to re-enter. But I did take it a few times. You know, $121, and you know, these are really fast minute fast trades, guys. And these are like, you know, two three minute trades. So in like 10 minutes, you make $121. That's uh pretty decent if you could trade like that okay guys uh, just you know just one you know evening future just some very small small gains but you know the 200 moving average riding it hasn't been hit you know, you know it, it was a good 
good chance. And I didn't mind holding it anyways because I do believe a counter trend bounce is in play at the moment. But we'll see where we open. But right now we're making nice, nice consolidation. Let me look at this actually. Nice up move. Okay. Look at this consolidation. Very low volume. You know, but right now it is stuck sandwiched between these two moving averages. But you know, if it hit the lower range of this uh, 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 um, at the uh, 1576, that's an actually decent spot. Because you do have pattern as well. But you know, look at your, don't look for much upside you know, other than the you know this this green the, this purple line, which is the 50 moving average sloping down. But like I said, you gotta look at your bigger time frames, and I do think the bigger time frame said that a counter trend, a bigger counter trend rally, is perhaps in place. But I'm gonna wait. You know, I missed this entry here. I played it for two scalps here. You know, up, you know, came back in. That was the right move. Played it up, came back down again. So that was that was beautiful. You know, quick, you know, fast, you know, small crumbs. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I missed this entry here. Where, yeah, now it's making a nice pattern to re-enter again. You know, if you wanna play it here, I'm gonna keep keep an eye on it. Right now, I'm doing a video. I can't, you know, go too long right now. But this is a, you know, nice. You know, maybe another candle or two would be a nice time count and see if we could build strength to break through this. Because I do anticipate that we do trade higher uh, in the next uh, few days into the holiday. Whoop, it's coming in. So let's see. Yep, yep. Time count as well coming in. Uh, I do. I would like to see this live and see, you know, what kind of you know nice volume here. Uh, I have to look at all the time frames, but you know, just just eyeing it right now is what I'm seeing. Uh, but like I said, it's sandwiched between the 20 and the 50 moving average uh, in the after hour session. That's E-mini futures, guys. Uh, so let me uh, let me just close that out, uh, just to, just so I can clear some of my screen up. Uh, just kind of. A little bit sluggish at the moment, but okay, guys. So at the open, you want to kind of see it and hold this pattern, okay? If you want to see higher prices at 158, but I will look to re-enter it at 157 tomorrow if it does want to make a uh, even if, even if, even tests this low, it still would be a considered a higher low, okay, guys. So it, sometimes these patterns take time to, to bake. If, you, if you're waiting for a bottom, maybe this is an inverse head and shoulders. You know, maybe it takes one more dip, one more higher. Uh, a low, and then that's where I'm going to look to go long. So I'm going to look at 157 to go long here. But guys, not you know, counter trend trading is not always the way you like to trade. Okay, so what do you, maybe you guys want to short this market? Okay, guys, so where where do you want to take a short? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now where to where to set up a short. Your spot is 162. And if you guys can quickly tell me, maybe perhaps you guys know what do you see on the chart that you know would make that a good setup? Okay, well let me go over it. You know, this is a wide range bar here, so you know. That's that's bearish and that's on good, really good volume. So any retrace to this area, with the 50% retracement, which is right, it's actually it's a 618 Fibonacci retracement. So if you take the Fib from this high to the low, this retracement is a six, at 162. That's the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. You have a declining 10 moving average. You confirmed below the 50-day moving average, which is multiple closes below uh, uh, the, the the low of this candle. That that confirms it. So any retrace to the 50-day moving average will be resistance. You have uh, the 20 sloping down. Okay, guys. So if you get a few more days into a time count into this death cross that's coming up, kind of extrapolated this 20 moving average with the 50. If it kind of goes into this spot, let me just make a circle there so you can just kind of visualize right here. That is your spot right there to short. It compares through it. Okay, but that is your spot. You got so many factors. You have the 162 even number. That's one factor. You have this big red candle. Two. You have this three. Uh, sorry, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. That's uh three factors and you have a death cross two moving dual moving averages coming down okay guys and uh that 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 would be a great spot to, to play for a few days sh uh short okay guys so if you want to play the short side uh that's a good spot this also you can consider this is previous uh previous uh support now resistance as well so we're just in this general vicinity 160 you know uh you know upper range of 162 uh, upper range of 161 and change and then 162 uh and you could pierce through it but you know general vicinity is short so if you're long, that's that's where you're going to take profit, and that's where you would want to short and, and go the opposite direction. Okay. So I think let's go on a weekly chart, see if there's a moving average uh, there. But did, we did nothing for the short term. I think you know we did recapture the 100-day moving average. You know, we did close uh, above the high of this previous day candle. So you know that's bulls bullish, but you know not much conviction. It didn't close uh, sharply above it, and so I'm looking for a, a, you know, a, maybe a, a higher low to re-enter uh, to play this counter trend bounce. Okay, guys, look at the weekly chart. Uh, let's see if there's any confluences as well. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 162. Yeah, you have a. Uh, yeah, you have the uh, the 10 week moving average here. Let me see. Yeah, right around the 62 area. So um, yeah, you have a you know the 162 level. You also have confluences on the weekly chart as well. You have the 10 week moving average, which is that yellow line. It is sloping up though, but you know, uh, nonetheless, uh, not month on the monthly chart. Uh, for that, uh, let's look uh, at the Q's. Let's go over some of these indexes really quick. Uh, oh, let's go to the IWM really fast. This is another reason why I took that. Uh, scalp intraday on that breakout. I love the pattern on, on IWM, IWM. I put it on Twitter as well. See this nice base. It formed up move. Nice base. Time count. 
you know, increased volume on the breakout. Yeah, you know, sure enough, you know, it did kind of uh, kind of failed at the top. I'm not sure if there's a fake print on the uh, on that as well. But you know, that's the reason why I was uh, pretty bullish as it, it was consolidating very beautifully. Uh, nice bull flag uh, on the IWM. Okay, guys. So uh, let's go to the daily chart on the IWM really quickly. I've been going pretty long on this video so far. I only went over the SPY. So I'm be really quick on these next uh, charts, guys. Uh, pretty much the same. They got some narrow range candles bouncing off support here. This is a trend line right here. This is holding beautifully. Uh, let's look at the Qs. Q is pretty much the same deal, bouncing off the 100-day moving average, never confirmed, narrow range candles, and then a breakout here, the 618 Fibonacci retracement as well, pretty much holding. Uh, let's look at some of these other big stocks. Look at uh, look at Priceline uh, very quickly. I uh, haven't gone over that in a while. And this kind of bearish consolidation, so down move consolidation, so it's in this range between these two moving uh between those uh, trend lines. You know, these are spots for me when I'm looking at is the 770 area. You have some factors there. You have the 50% retracement, you have a up, uh, upward sloping, you have an ascending, rising 50 moving average, and guess what? You has also have a breakout area. Let me go way back in the charts. You know, charts are like people, you know. People like to visit places where they've been before. You know, this is a, you know, a destination where the chart probably wants to revisit. You look at, you know, it's a, break, it's a previous breakout on, on a, a really great move. And you also have the 50 moving average. So right there, I mean, let me see what the level is. Pretty much at the 1770 uh, would be a nice, low pier, so it'd be nice on volume. If it's coming down on, on volume, uh, let me see the measured move. Pretty much, let me see if I can estimate it. Uh, seven. Mm. Yeah, the measured move does take you rough in this area as well. So uh, that's just estimation, guys. So, but you know, that's enough factors for me to get interested at the 770 level. Okay, guys. And, and, uh, Price lines. Look at Google very quickly. Going pretty long on this video already. Uh, let's go. You know, Google. You remember my last video called that the market might pull back, and you know, with Google making a Doji candle, uh, and you're also into a previous uh, right here into previous support now resistance. Uh, so that was a beautiful call. And sure enough, look at that sell off. Uh, called that out in my last video, guys. Check that out. Uh, and been nailing this market. Amazon pretty much. Um, called out this breakout as well on this, uh, you know, this consolidation. Sure enough, we tested as high. Can't break out this level, and we are retesting that uh, trend line that's sloping down. Okay, guys, so we're still riding that. See this breakout? Still um, uh, testing that. Some narrow range candles, and you did bounce off the 50-day moving average. Let's look at uh, let's look at uh, Apple. Apple, you know, Apple has been pretty weak. I haven't looked at Apple in a while, but Apple, you know, ever since, uh, after I saw this pattern kind of failing, and after the investors meeting, it was just very, very uh, not impressive to investors, and ever since that uh, meeting, uh, just selling off beautifully. This was your line in the sand, the red line, sure enough, it did not hold that, and sure enough, you are going southbound. Your next spot, really, to look at is this 385 pivot, so that's where I'll look interested for a day trade. Uh, that looks like a decent spot, but you know the pattern's changed now. You know this looks like it could be headed much lower if it does break that. And you also have a retest of the 200-week moving average there on the weekly chart. So that 385 is going to be some you know pretty decent support. Not to swing in or anything like that for a day trade because this chart is downtrending, looking pretty weak. Okay, guys, this is, this is a pretty ugly chart now. But you know at the spot really I'm looking at is 320. Okay, it's 618 Fibonacci retracement. I believe that's taken from like pretty much the <laughs> that's going to be crazy really from the $80 level that $80 pivot. To the high, the seven, what is it, seven fifteen? What did it top out at seven oh five? Whatever, uh, it's pretty much a sixty one point eight Fibonacci retracement at the three twenty level. So you know, I'm looking, you know, perhaps to go long there, but we'll see if it's just retesting the two hundred. You know, it could be retesting that hammer candle on the on the monthly chart as well. So let's see if it could hold up. See, it did make that hammer candle right here, and, and many times it does like to retest it. Okay, so three eighty five, three eighty two, whatever, roughly right here, three eighty five is your line of sand, and you do have a rising. Uh, 50 moving, 50 month moving average, and 200 moving average on a weekly chart. So that's gonna be a really solid support. But if that breaks, wow, this thing's, uh, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna go to the 61 point Fibonacci, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Uh, is there anything else I want to take a look at? Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I love you guys that you guys check it onto these videos. Uh, if you guys are checking them out, if you guys want to comment, leave a, a, a ticker symbol in the comment box. I'd love to go over them. Uh, give me a, a, you know, a test drive, and uh, I'd love to show you my uh, my technical analysis skills, guys. Uh, technical analysis skills. Okay, guys. Uh, so uh, I'm going to call it uh, for the night. Uh, I had a few minutes here to update you guys. Hope you guys have a great one. Already uh, in great profits for the week. I already made back uh, the small loss from last week. Um, so that's uh, pretty decent because I know a lot of traders uh, struggled last week with that drop. I'm not sure short, but, you know, any of you guys are holding long still, we're still in the camp that, you know, the buy the dip mentality was still there. You guys notice these patterns. You notice the trend. 
that I mentioned that we're doing a lot of consolidation here uh, below the 20. And look, normally, look, bounce, you know, correction, shallow bounce. Uh, I mean, shallow correction, big bounce, shallow correction, big bounce. But notice now we're like, we were consolidating, making a bearish pattern this time, and 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 that was an early sign that it wanted you know, lower prices. And sure enough, that's what happened. And I I pretty much figured the worst case scenario, and it did actually get to the, to the 158. Okay, guys, and pierced it slightly. So my uh, targets are pretty damn good. It actually went to the 158 level. And so if I actually did take delivery of those uh, uh, SPY because I did sell puts. That's usually a strategy that people want to accumulate at lower prices. That was a decent spot. Said, you're getting a nice bounce now, but uh, those did expire um, uh, out of the money. So you know, I just collected the premium and I did re-enter here and sold some puts as I got here. So I'm looking to re-enter on uh, any kind of pullback here, guys. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going back on SPY now. Uh, I should be taking off. I hope you guys have a great one. I will check you guys next time.